In addition to that, Mr. Kusemere Rachal, he regularly forged signatures of members of the Sons Somia, Nasari Bed, and withdrew 19 million from their account. An extortion is an offense within the law, but it's a matter that we need to interrogate further and investigate in detail and have these people prosecuted. Because it is going to be like a lesson for others. BDM money is to better the lives of the people and improve their well-being. But if the people are supposed to be overseeing uh, extorting, then it is really very, very unfortunate. As the Inspectorate of Government, we are going to continue monitoring government projects with a bid to improve and ensure that there is quality service delivery. Extortion, like you say, is all over the country. But you know, we urge Ugandans to report these cases. During the community power cut, issues came up from the community members that there was extortion and they're paying between 100 to 250. So out of the 1 million, then what does someone remain with to, 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 to implement this project? So it really affects uh, service delivery on the ground. But as a corporate of government, we are here not just for PDM, we are monitoring the doctor deep closure activities. You are aware, the other day we arrested here the Vice Chairman UC5. But I have also asked those people who know they were approached that either politicians or the civil servants and they, they, got, they gave them money promising them jobs. Either they got the jobs or they did not get the jobs. I have asked them to come quietly to my office and tell me. So far, two, two people have come. I, I will not disclose their, their details, but next week I'm sure they have, they will have made statements reporting those ones, including a very senior official of the district who also got 3 million from a very old man. Hmm.